kick-starting the future of science in New Zealand. The pilot of the new government-funded participatory science platform officially launches in the city. It's designed to get more people interested in the sciences. This is really you know, what, what is exercising the public, what are the communities really interested in, them shaping up a, a project and saying, hey look, this is the knowledge gap, this is a science question we want to answer, and then marrying them up with the, with the scientific e experts so they can work together. South Auckland, Taranaki and Otago are the three areas chosen to test the programme. And Otago Museum's Dr Craig Grant has been named the local project lead. The new initiative's offering a couple of funding types for projects, with small amounts of money available as seed funding to get ideas off the ground. And it's really to give some resources to get those wheels going. Maybe it's getting the right scientists together and they can plan a project. So it's to really to take it from the, the idea to the project stage. The first call for projects will go out in August, and they'll be eligible for larger financial backing. The second call's planned for November. It's hoped the day's launch will get people talking about their ideas for research, as the government pushes for a greater interest in the sciences nationwide. We just need to understand as a society and value that the knowledge that comes from science will change this country in every which way, in a way that will ultimately benefit our environment, our economy. Otago is playing a critical role in the platform's development. The trial will last for nine months, but Dr Grant's hopeful it'll be extended if it goes well. Now it's time for locals to brainstorm, as science gets a major boost in the city. David DeLorean, 39, Dunedin News.